Hey everyone, today we're going to look at the NASA Across the Universe playing card set. I don't know about you, but right now while the seasons are changing from summer to fall, it's been a little bit hard to sleep, so I figured we could have a little relaxing look at some beautiful pictures of space. NGC 6240, a galaxy about 330 million light years from Earth. Antenna, a pair of colliding galaxies about 60 million light years from Earth. VV 340 or 340. A pair of galaxies located about 450 million light years from Earth. NGC 68Z6, a planetary nebula located less than 5,000 light years from Earth. NGC 6388. A globular cluster about 43,000 light years from Earth. WASP 18, an explorer net about 10 times Jupiter's mass located some 326 light years from Earth. And a carina. A double star system that contains one of the most massive stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Flame Nebula. A star cluster in the center of the Flame Nebula about 1400 light years from Earth. NGC 60Z or 2. I'll note that I'm not an expert in any of this space exploration. I mainly just love the beauty of the nebulas and the colors, so please forgive any mispronunciations. Young stars in the small Magellanic Cloud, one of the closest galaxies to our Milky Way. Perseus Cluster, a giant collection of galaxies immersed in hot gas about 250 million light years from Earth. NGC 1929, a star cluster embedded within the NAR Nebula, oh, sorry, the N44 Nebula, about 160,000 light years away. The text on these cards is a little strange. Twos and Zs could be the same character. NGC Z81, a nebula with active star formation about 9,200 light years from Earth. Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun and the largest in our solar system. Tarantula Nebula, a large region of star formation about 160,000 light years away in the large Mag Magellanic Cloud. Carina Nebula, a star forming region about 7,500 light years from Earth. BP PSC. A sun-like star in its red giant phase about 1,000 light years from Earth. Orion Nebula, a rich cluster of young stars about 1,500 light years from Earth. Cepheus B, a cloud of molecular hydrogen in the Milky Way about 2,400 light years from Earth.
RCW 108, a region of active star formation about 4,000 light years from Earth. Westerland Z, a star cluster about 20,000 light years from Earth. G3Z7.1, 1.1, an outward moving shock wave and a bright pulsar wind nebula. Max J0717.5 plus 3745, one of the most complex galaxy clusters located about 5.4 billion light years from Earth. Forty seven Tucane, a globular cluster located about fifteen thousand light years from Earth. PSR J O three five seven plus three Z or two zero five, a pulsar located about sixteen hundred light years from Earth. Vela Pulsar Jet a rapidly retaining, rotating neutron star in the Vela supernova remnant. Cat's Eye Nebula. I think this is one of my favorite. A planetary nebula located less than 5,000 light years from Earth. Cassiopeia A. A supernova remnant located about 1,000, sorry, 10,000 light years from Earth. G3 50.103, a supernova remnant located about 14,700 light years from Earth toward the center of the Milky Way. Sagittarius A. The Milky Way's supermassive black hole about 26,000 light years from Earth. M8Z. A starburst galaxy located about 12 million light years from Earth. Now that I look at this, this two and this character look like two. So I'm going to pronounce it as two. So this is M82. G292.0 plus 1.8, a supernova remnant in the Milky Way galaxy. How seriously beautiful is that? RX J1131, 1231. A quasar located about 6 billion light years from Earth. Max J0416.12403, a galaxy cluster located about 4.29 billion light years away. The Crab Nebula. The remnants of a star that exploded and appeared in Earth's sky about a thousand years ago. Puppis A. A supernova remnant located about 7,000 light years from Earth. Cygnus X-1. A stellar mass black hole in orbit with a companion star about 6,000 light years away. The Eagle Nebula. A new look at the famous pillars of creation, allowing astronomers to peer inside the dark columns of gas and dust. How beautiful. G299.22.9, a supernova remnant in the Milky Way about 16,000 light years from Earth.
El Gordo, a galaxy cluster nicknamed El Gordo, about 7 billion light years from Earth. I wonder what the star is on El Gordo. Coronet Cluster, a region of star formation about 420 light years from Earth. PSR B1 50958, a 1700-year-old pulsar and its nebula located about 17,000 light years from Earth. It sort of looks like a foot x-ray. Wow. NGC 2207. NGC 2207 and IC 2163 are two spiral galaxies in the process of merging. How beautiful. IDCS J14 26.5 plus 3508. A massive galaxy cluster located about 10 billion light years from Earth. I kind of wish these had nice names like exploding violets because that's what it looks like. And it would certainly be easier to read to you. Supernova 1987A, the remnant of an exploded star in the large Magellanic cloud is 160,000 light years from Earth. ARP 147, a galaxy about 430 million light years from Earth. I love these reflection, they sort of look like these like warp holes that something is going inside. It's so neat. Wow. Galactic Center, the core of the Milky Way at a distance of some 26,000 light years from Earth. Just look at those colors. ESO 137001, Galaxy ESO 137000 plunges through the Norma Galaxy Cluster. NGC 922, a ring galaxy about 157 million light years from Earth. Abel 1835, from a sample of over 300 galaxy clusters used to study dark energy. EO 1027023 officially known as IEO 1022.7129 a supernova remnant in the small magellanic cloud Tycho supernova remnant a supernova remnant in the milky way about 13000 light years from earth NGC 7392, sorry, 2392, a sun-like star in its end phase of life. Wow, it's in its end phase of life. This beautiful thing will be gone eventually. Cheshire Cat, a group of galaxies nicknamed the Cheshire Cat about 4.6 billion light years from Earth. And last, but not least, Centaurus A, the galaxy contains a gargantuan jet blasting away from a central supermassive black hole. So stop staring at the stars now and go to sleep.